Hey Blender Bob here, happy Halloween! Welcome to part 2 out of 4 in this series of the VFX of the movie Clouds. Today we're gonna burn some rubber. Very simple setup here. The road has been provided by the tracking department. You have a domain box and an emitter on the wheels and that's it. As you can see at the beginning the car tracking doesn't match at all, but it doesn't matter because the smoke starts right after this. And I manually keyframed the tires to match the plate. I did this until I reached the right position. It's called cheating, I'm really good at it, but never on my wife. For the position of the car, the tracking department gave me a locator, which is kind of like a cross empty, and I parented the car to this empty so that the car moves at the exact same position. All I needed to do was to adjust the rotation of the car to match the plate. Blender can track cameras, but I'm not sure if it can track objects, and probably not both in the same scene, and this is something they should take a look at if they want to play in the big leagues, because this is very useful to be able to track objects and cameras at the same time. You can see the orange parts here, these are the emitters that will emit the smoke, so it's just parented to the wheels so they can move together. Now it looks like there's a ton of smoke here, but never look at it like this, always look at it in the final render to get a good idea of what it really looks like. Now for the geometry and the ground, you want to make sure you turn on hold out. What it's going to do is it's going to create like a hole in the smoke because we don't want the smoke to go through the car, we just want it to appear once it's out of the car. And you can see here from the side view, the smoke goes under the ground. So when you put the ground as hold out, it's going to cut all the smoke that goes under the ground. I also added four point lights where the tail lights are so that it can illuminate the smoke. And I added a few lights for the street lights. This is a precom script that I give to compositors, it's just to assemble the elements together. You can see the smoke here is cut on the ground and that's because we put the holdout on the ground. The model I had of the car didn't match exactly the real car so sometimes I ran into issues like this where I got a mismatch. Easy fix, I just use a node for painting and I just blur it, just blur the edges until we don't see it anymore. Here we go. So once it's assembled, it's easy to dial in the amount of smoke that you want in the scene. And this is a final script, you can see it's much more complicated than what I gave them. And uh, oh, this is my stuff here, this little whoop, and it's gone already. And now let me show you why it's so complicated. On the left is the original plate and on the right is the final comp. You can see that blue thing here that's been removed. The entire bridge is gone, it disappeared by magic, actually compositing magic. And you can see that the yellow lines have been added in the street too. They just appeared by magic, compositing magic. See, right there. Pretty cool, huh? And they also tweaked the smoke, uh, the intensity, the color, and all this stuff. So yeah, the smoke was done in Blender on a Disney movie. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> the... <laughs> I don't fuck it up. <laughs> all right. So next week we. <laughs> all right. So you may think that was no big deal. It's just some smoke behind a car. Well. Stay tuned because next week and the week after we're gonna get into the very, very cool stuff. <laughs> Live long and prosper, my young Padawans. What? What? <laughs> hey.